we we found what we were looking for look at this so beautiful hey this is next meridian we are nick and mathilde and we left everything behind to travel the world with our land rover defender albatross Three years, seven continents, 88 countries, and just the road as a home. Last week, we arrived in the Canadian Rockies. So this week, we spare the wheels of Albatross and we use our legs to explore Banff and Yoho National Parks. Let's do some hiking. And the idea now is because we've been driving through the prairies in Canada, there is a thousand of bees, flies, and all types of butterflies and things that got stuck in the radiator. So I need to fix this. Once I remove this part, then I can easily clean with the brush slowly. Uh, it is recommended to, it is also recommended to just clean it with a bit of water, a bit warm water, uh, just to make everything come out. But I don't have any, so that's gonna be fine. Um, if we don't do this, then of course uh, the air when it comes, well, it doesn't go through because it's all bothered by all the f mosquitoes and flies which are on there. But here we go. All right. Now, all right, now this is what it looks like. What I'm going to do is remove the fan as well so that I can easily clean this. And see, the idea is just to be able to remove everything as much as possible because it is dirty. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. We just I just cleaned all of this out right now, but we still have this massive circle here. And so I'm just going to clean this out and with the air compressor, just blow from the inner part so that everything comes out. Anyway, hopefully with this, we'll get a bit of more power, but also then the radiators will cool down better and the engine will not super overheat. Anyway, it's just a little maintenance. It's not anything urgent, but small maintenance. The Rockies, it is a lot of amazing landscapes, but it's also a big challenge. The area gets really crowded in the summer. So on our first day, as we arrived at the visitor center of Lake Louise, they told us that to be able to find a spot at Lake Moraine, we needed to park there before 4 a.m. It is 3.30 a.m. And we tried to go to the parking of Lake Moraine and it was full. I have to admit, we thought it would work at 3.30, but we asked the rangers and they said it was full at 2.40. That is a bit too crazy for us. Already we found ourselves a bit crazy to wake up right now. So now we're going to go to Lake Louise, sleep a bit in the car and we'll figure out something for Lake Moraine. So, voila. This is our second bed. Yo. For people who didn't know we had one, so basically we keep the roof closed and we have a plank coming in the middle. Good night! Good night! Second start of the day, it was not planned this way, but we wake up at the parking of Lake Louise. We felt a bit bad that we slept here, but because we came at 3 for Lake Moraine, we were here. And actually, we're not the only one. Like this car, there's two guys sleeping in it. This car, there's two guys sleeping in it, and I see another one. I mean, there's quite a few, like here, the red one, there's two girls sleeping in it, so. so that was not what was planned, but revealed. Ta-da! Welcome to Lake Louise. Welcome to Lake Louise. Which, which way is our hike going? So well, I think a uh, hike. Behind there, there's a lake, Behind Lake Agnes. There, there's a lake, lake Agnes. Bump, I think. This one there? The okay. Devil's thumb, I think it's okay, we're going there. bought this camel pack because we're gonna do a two-day hike and since I'm carrying the three liters Matil just comes up to me and poop just sips out of me <laughs> Good 
It's almost there. That one. Just chilling, salad, feta, olive, what else is in here? Rice and beans. Rice and beans. And, and the view is pretty sweet. Check this out, nice. We finished the hike at Lake Louise. It was very nice, but the crowds are a bit overwhelming. So I think it was a good pick, the Devil's Thumb. Because we started with Lake Louise, where it was very busy, of course. And then climbing up to Lake Agnes, there was still quite a bit of people. Lake Agnes, it was still busy, but then around Lake Agnes, there was less and less people. And all the way up there, we were just a few hikers, just enjoying nature and the quiet. So overall, nice pick. Next, we're going to Yoho National Park for something fun. Time for shower, followed by preparing our bags for a two-day hike, which we will start tomorrow. Let me just get in here. Ah, noise. Two-day hike that we start tomorrow. The idea is to do 11 kilometers the first day and 11 kilometers the second day, more or less. Uh, 1,000 meter elevation, sleep halfway in a tent. Uh, no water, no food, no nothing, so we have to bring our own uh, sleeping tent, duvet, mattress. So we're gonna start packing a little bit. The next day, we took the road to Yoho National Park. We understood that to avoid the heavy crowds in the parks, the best way was to hike further away. So we planned for a two days hiking expedition in the Yoho Valley. Takes a little bit of planning, because you cannot simply camp anywhere, but we were really lucky and got ourselves a backcountry camping permit. Getting ready for the two day hike and making pancakes for breakfast. Pancakes, pancakes. But otherwise we have over here as a side of salad, Nutella, honey, jam, maple syrup, Matilde, and I think that's it. And then our bags are ready. Tilt's bag, my bag. Mmm. I put double cheese and a ham. <sighs> Just gotta go get the pepper. Gotta go get the pepper. It's gonna be good with pepper. Mm, where is it, where is it? Nope, nope. Oh no, where's the pepper? Huh. Did I already bring it up? Ah, oh, that's it, where it is. Noise, pepper. All right. Do it again. <laughs> nice. Bye bye, Albo. Bye bye, Albo. All right, I started. Explore the adventure. Dora the explorer. I'm gonna say that again. Are you Dora the explorer? I am. She's very cool. That's a lot of options. Which one are we doing? Left. We're going to the ice line junction. Left? Uh, uh, uh. Ah. Ice line junction. Ice line junction. Leave video, hold them. This is where we're And we're sleeping here.
We just made a request on the InReach Mini uh, of a weather forecast. We did a basic because it's free. Uh, but if we do premium, it costs $2 and we probably don't need. I'm very excited because it's the first time we do that. It's the first time we test it. So it's loading. When it's ready, we'll show it to you. The data has now showed up a minute ago. So that's pretty cool. It's the first time we do it. It says 0% of rain. Awesome. In between 19 and 6 degrees. So that's pretty cool. You get a lot of little data with this thing. Uh, yeah, useful. Cool. We made it. Nice. So this is our camping spot ground. Bag is full of food. Now we're gonna go hang it up. And away from the bears. You also need to put anything that smells in there, so like toiletries, like deodorant, so mm, toothpaste. Ta -da. So if we ever wanted food overnight, we could always go and take someone else's food from the bags. Mm. Kidding. Mm. Shower time! <laughs> the water's super cool, but... It's good for your health. Just for a little rinse, yeah. Mm -hmm. On the menu tonight, something very simple. Noodles, shrimps, mama noodles. Not only any noodles, good noodles. We love those. All the noodles are in. Mm. This is our little cute home for tonight. It's amazing. Hey you. Hello. Comfy? Yeah. Yeah. Tired? Yeah. Always. Wow. He was supposed to call now. Second day back on the trails. Uh, it's supposed to be the nicer day in terms of landscapes, so fingers crossed. Look, we can see the path in the, on the left. Yeah, I think the stop is there. We reached us now. I kept this for the past 24 hours for this moment. The summit sneaker. The ice line summit sneaker. Mm. How does it taste? Good. Summit all. Mm. Want some? No, it's
And we finished the hike with an omelette, little salad, and more pancakes. Honestly, we are tired, but happy to have made it. Yeah, it was super nice. Nice. We just found the perfect spot right outside Yoho National Park. We have Albu here and the river there. Albu, river, Albu, river. It's really nice. And we met randomly again our friends Damien and Maureen. Who are driving all the way down to Shuaia. This is probably the third night we're spending together. Not in consecutive, but in the past two weeks. And we came down this road. So wild camping is allowed in this area, but wildfire no. So no fire, but we're gonna chill. <laughs> cutting session what a nice spot to be doing here cutting if anybody wants to come one dollar very cheap but I'm using my scissors which are <laughs> I think we oh shit I think we got them in Ikea for like a euro so but you do get the good view Mathilde's first let's see how she looks at the end and then and you guys can make your own decision <laughs> Shorter, yeah, normal. I know. I'm pretty happy with the result. Anyone else wants to go to Nicholas Salon? We wrapped up our visits at the Yo National Park and went back to Banff. I don't know if you remember, but we still didn't get to go to Lake Moraine. We were determined to make it that night. So this is sort of our setup. Uh, I was just catching up on a few Patreons and messages and posts and uh, photos, videos, things like that. Uh, Mathilde is here working on a YouTube video. We are, we sort of cleaned the whole car, back and front, everything. And uh, we've just been relaxing here all afternoon. Tomorrow we're gonna wake up around 1.30 a.m. because we have to drive to Moraine Lake and Moraine Lake is overpopulated with people. So we have to be there at two when the parking opens because by 2.30, 2.40, it's already full in the morning. It's crazy. <clears throat> so we want to make sure we go because the first time we went, we went at 3.30 if you remember and it was full. So, uh, so this time we're gonna make sure we get there and then we're gonna do Moraine Lake and then Sentinel Pass should be like five hours hike back and forth about 11 12 kilometers and, uh, and that's it and then we'll go to Banff and upload the next YouTube video which Matilda is working on right now very hard with that very cool bob hat and uh, that's it it is 
9.48 and we're getting ready to go to bed. They leave the parking full sign on like even now at uh, 1.30. So yeah, they really expect it to be full quickly. We made it. We made it to the famous Lake Moraine. Oh, yeah. Was it worth it? Now we just have to wait for the sunrise to come. It's gonna be a little cold until it then. <laughs> nice, huh? to the Sentinel Pass, which is this one here. Wow. We made it to the top. Nice. And it's amazing. This is the view on the other side of the Sentinel Pass. And that's the view on the other side. First week in the Rockies it was good, and uh, next week we leave Banff and we head to Jasper. Yep, and that's going to be cool. We also see a lot of people are watching the videos but are not subscribed to the channel, so subscribe to the channel, it helps a lot, and you don't miss the rest of the journey. Bye so bye! Bye bye! I put two spice in there and I put one in here and this one here. You said you would put one for the entire bowl. I put that two. That cliche to you <laughs> always do that. Mm. Oh my god, it's too spicy. Wish we had a spoon or something to spin, spin, spin them in. Mm. <coughs> too spicy? It's way too spicy, Jatun. <laughs>